you guys? It's your girl Philly Fan Always, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and you will get the best Eagles content here. Now, this is not an Eagles video. I will be making an e Eagles video about the Seahawks game sometime within sometime <clears throat> in this week. But today, this video is about New Year's and us starting new. And you know, we know that we hear every year New Year, New Me, uh, that whole uh, shenanigans. But I do honestly want to thank people, and I want to do this on YouTube because I have some people to thank um, that are on YouTube um, as well, um, just for being in my circle and being in my life and just being there for me and helping me grow my channel and people that I know that are bigger than me um, have always supported me and always been a been there for me when it came to making videos and you know supporting me, just making videos and stuff like that. Um, but I do also want to thank people in the, in this 10 years, uh, it being at the end of a decade. <clears throat> these last 10 years were really tough on me. Um, I went through so much stuff within these last 10 years, and yeah, I've done some stuff too. Um, but, um, you know, I'm not acting like I'm all innocent, but I do appreciate my lessons that I've learned because I've grown as a person. I have definitely grown up um, as a person and definitely have gained maturity. Um, but I do want to thank people, my family. I definitely want to thank my grandmother and my grandfather for having me under their wing for, you know, this for longer than 10 years. But just about you know just for right now for today we're just thinking about the 10 years um i want to thank you know friends you know people that i've that i used that i used to go to school with that i still contact you know in when i was even in homeschooling when i was homeschooled um i still have i still contact some friends and stuff so thank you guys for being friends you know out of school um when i was going to school I do want to thank my also. I want to thank my sister. I don't really talk to. Her. I don't really talk <clears throat> like this. I don't like talking about my feelings, to be honest. But I thank her for being there. You know, even though she had her little mishaps, when she eventually she ran away at one point and all that stuff. Um, but. I thank her for just being my sister. Yeah, we have our arguments. Yeah, we have our fights. Yeah, we have our disagreements. Yeah, we all, we, we, you know, we make fun of each other. That's what sisters do. You know what I mean? Yeah, we do all that stuff. But I do want to thank her for just being my sister. I do want to thank my mom. Even though she's not here for me a lot of the time and stuff that, you know, you would think that your mother would be there for you. She's not. Um, I still want her, I just want to thank her for being able to, for being there to be able to be in contact, you know, being able so I can call her and she's on the phone or whatever. I can talk to her for X amount of hours, even though she's not physically in my presence. Same thing with my other sister. She lives with my mom. You know, I can call her at any time. She's, and she face tries to FaceTime me and all that stuff. And we can talk for hours on end. You know, it's, it's grateful for people in that, you know, to have people like that in your circle. Um, family wise, I want to thank my friends. I want to thank friends that I used to go to school with for being still being in contact with me and being real friends instead of just being there because, you know, we were just in school and we knew each other. You know what I mean? You know, thank you. Thank you guys for just being my friends. Um, my best friend, her name is Shakira. We've been friends since second grade. Thank you for being in my life for so long in the midst of our, you know, we had our fights, you know, we let people get in between our friendship and all that stuff. I want to thank her for being in my life as well. Um, you know, we've gone through so much, you know, you know, I, I can't, I was with her for her birthday when she officially turned 18, um, you know, and I was there for her a lot of the time. We had our own little musics, like singing groups and we wrote our own songs together and we did a whole bunch of stuff. I did stuff like there's times where I did feel like she was overshadowing me because I know I was really talented. I think I was a little bit more talented than she was. But, you know, other than that, I do appreciate her being in my life. Um, us having our little moments. And yeah, she would, you know, she's she's my sister. You know, she, even though has not really been, you know, we haven't really been in physical contact with each other. She's been in college. I'm home. So I'm, 
not really in contact with her like that. Um, but we do text and all that stuff. And but I just do. I thank her for being in my life. Um, I do think. I think um, a lot of people who are my friend, um, who are just like acquaintances and stuff like that. I thank people who aren't my friend for being in my life as well, because then I can look at look back at my life and say, you may be better by me not having to look for each someone's approval. I don't have to look for anybody's approval for people to like me. I am who I am, and if you don't like me, then that's too bad. You know, um, I thank those people for helping me become a better person and become an, an adult and a woman, you know, um, and just a better person, you know. I don't want to be that person that, um, you know, wants to pray on your downfall. Even though people have prayed on my downfall a lot of my life, you know, I still have people doing that, family-wise included. But, um, I do have, I have people, I still do have people praying on my downfall, thinking that I'm not going to be anything and all that stuff. I have, I still have people that do that. You know, it's, it's, and, and, and honestly, that's not, it's not unique because everybody goes through that. But I still, for personally, for me, I still have people that are praying on my downfall, wanting me to fail, not wanting me to glow, not wanting me to do anything with my life. And I still have people out there like that. And I thank you too. My haters, pretty much. I thank you for also building me up inside to prove, to show people, for me to show myself that I don't have to look for anybody's approval to be who I am right now. I don't have to. You know what I mean? I don't have to search and find somebody to get approval. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to search for you, like, I'm, like relationship-wise, I'm going to search for you is because I want love. You know what I mean? Like, I want somebody to love and somebody to care for. You know, because I'm a very loving person. You know, I'm a very loving person. I am a very loving person. I love giving love. I'm a very caring and honest person. If you really get a chance to get to know me, I am a really lovely... I like. I love giving love away. I am a very nice and I'm a very kind person. But when I get an attitude, I'm an, I'm mad at everybody. I'm mad at the world. Okay, I get mad too. So I'm not always just cookies and cream. You know what I mean? I, I am human. Um, but I do want to thank the, my haters. I do want to thank my haters, okay, for making me who I am right now and today, going into this new decade. Um, now I want to talk about YouTube. I thank my subscribers. I definitely want to start off with my subscribers. Even though it's not a lot, it's like 240-something, almost 250-something, it's not a lot, but I still thank you guys for supporting my videos, coming to my live streams and talking sports, coming to my live streams and supporting me. I thank you guys for even getting me to this point. I thank you guys so much. Yeah, we have trolls and people that are, you know, non-Eagles fans and stuff like that. Of course, we have that. But I thank my subscribers overall for just being there for me. When I pretty much, this channel came from literally nothing. Nobody was even watching or looking at my videos. Hardly. Only one person who wasn't even a Cowboys fan. I mean, who wasn't even an Eagles fan. He was a Cowboys fan. And that's Simus. And he's been around on my channel for two years. And the whole that's the length of the time that my channel's been around. So, um, um you know... Other than that, nobody else... I, I, I wasn't really connected with Philly 500 and Lord Brunson and all that stuff. I had no idea who they were. And then I get linked and then, you know, stuff like that. And I, and I got one, another person I want to thank for that, too. But I do want to thank my subscribers throughout this two, the, two, the two years in between these this 10 year for the new year um, before 2020. I want to thank you guys for being supportive and being there for me and wanting me to succeed i thank you guys so so much and i would love for you guys to continue that love and support throughout this next 10 years you know what i mean like um i just love you guys so much i thank you guys so much so much for being here for me being loyal eagles cowboys panthers falcons saints redskins fans and i love the fact that it's diverse and um Ravens fans, I have Ravens, um, you know, I just love you guys. Um, next person I want to thank for being in my life within 10 years, even though, you know, I haven't known him for like 20 years or 10 years the whole time, but I do want to, I want to do want to give this man a shout out and I do want to thank him. There's two dudes I, I want to give a thanks to. 
one thing I want to give to for me just knowing him in this decade that is now coming to a close in a couple of uh, several more hours is <clears throat> Slita. Slita. I want to give him a special him and somebody else. I want to give some I want to give him special thanks for being for me even finding out who you are. I want to thank you so much, Slita, aka David in Atlanta, or I call him David. But I thank you for showing me the um the outside of YouTube. You know what I mean? Like had I not had I still been in my 70 subscribers, you guys would know who the hell I am. You guys would not know who the hell I am. But thanks to Slita, he gave me the platform. He gave me the opportunity to show you who, what I know as far as a female sports fan. And there's not a lot of female sports fans on YouTube. So he has given me the platform and the chance to show you guys what I can bring to the table as far as being a Eagles sports YouTuber. And I thank him for that. I really do. I started this when I was 17 years old. I'm 19 now. Okay, I've grown doing this shit. You know what I mean? For two years. I've done been doing this shit. I'll be 20, you know, this coming year. Like, I'm, this is, I love doing this. You know, and I think, I think Slita or David, I do thank him, thank him a lot for even putting me in this situation or in this position to be able to talk sports to people and not just to 17 people. You know what I mean? I'm not talking to just 17 people. 18, 19, 20, 21, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 people. I'm talking to over almost 250 people. Almost 250 people on YouTube because of Slita. And I really want to thank you for that. To share my love for my team, just like how you share your love for your Falcons. And being diverse and let all walks of life come to my channel to talk about sports. That is so great and within its own. And I thank you, Slita, for doing that and being a part of my life. You know, being a part of my life within this 10 years. Even though it wasn't, it's in tw we met in 2017, we, you know, it's been it's in, in that 10 year realm. So thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for um, me finding out about you and me knowing you and me supporting you just as much as you support me. And I thank you for that. Now, the second person I do want to give a special thanks is to Lord Brunson. Now, you guys know who Lord Brunson is. But he's the one that inspired me to make videos in the first place. Now, Slita brought me, like, pretty much put me on. But Lord Brunson inspired me to make videos from the jump. Now, I made videos about Kapazil and stuff like that at the beginning of my YouTube career. And no one was really watching it. Kapazil wasn't going to see those, see those, um, those videos. I knew it. I just hope that somehow, some way, a miracle happened, and he did see it, and he just, you know, you know, trash talk, and we didn't go back and forth and stuff like that just for fun because he's a Giants fan, and I'm an Eagles fan, you know. Um, he made Lord Brunson helped me so much become and develop into a good YouTuber because he helped me develop becoming a YouTuber in the first place. Um, and it's great that he has Philly roots, you know, North Philly roots and stuff like that because we can connect on that level. And we're Eagles fans on top of that. So that's definitely something we can connect on. And then we have passion and love for this team and this in the city. All in, the, all in general, you know what I mean? Like, I think Lord Brunson for definitely put like putting the thought in my head like, maybe I could do that. I love the Eagles so much. That I can make videos about and talking about them every day or as long as as much as I want to, you know what I mean? Thank you, Lord Brunson, for inspiring me and being you. That's what inspired me. I'm me because I'm because you're you. I you inspired me to make YouTube videos, and I am so happy for your existence. I'm so happy that you're an Eagles fan because we both can connect on that level, and I'm so happy you're from Philly because we can also connect on that level, and I. I'm so happy that I found you on YouTube because had I not found you, I probably wouldn't even be recording this video right now. But I do love 
I love everybody that's on YouTube, anybody and everybody, even if we don't like each other, even if we're enemies, I still love you because it's a new leaf, it's a new year, and we we don't want to carry last you know, last year's drama or this year's drama going into ne the next, this next year, you know, I still love you even if I don't, if I don't like you. Um, but thank you, Lord Brunson, for inspiring me, being an inspiration to me, and being from the same roots as me, so we both can, can definitely connect on that level. And thank you for inspiring me to make YouTube videos, and I, I highly, 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 highly appreciate that. Another person I want to bring onto the table that helps that helped me a lot and I and I'm appreciate I appreciate him also being in my life and being knowing of me knowing him, me and him knowing each other. Is Philly that Philly five double O. Philly five hundred. Thank you for being the dingbat that you are and I love everything about you. I love your silliness. I love your quirks. I love your songs, your Bad Doll song, your Mitchell True Biscuit song. I love everything about you, Philly 500, and I'm so glad to even know who you are, and I'm so glad that you even know who I am. Thank you so much for communicating with me when I'm in your live streams, and thank you so much for knowing of me and having me as a thought, you know, when I, I have your back, as you know, when Cop Bizzle said all that stuff about you, I was the first video that you've seen. When I addressed Cop Bizzle about you, I definitely have your back 500. Um, I do, I seriously, I love you as a person. I love your content. I watch all of your videos every day. It doesn't matter what time of the day is. I lay in my bed watching your videos. Sometimes when I see you got a new video up, I'm in my room watching your videos nonstop. I love your videos for, for the 500, and I'm so happy that you exist as well. Um, you have... You have Jersey roots, which you can consider Jersey Phillies in a, in a way, because Jersey and Philly are right there next to each other. So you wouldn't, you know, you have, you have some, you have some Philly roots if you really want to say it. Like so, um, I thank you so much for just being you, King Dingbat himself. <laughs> I do appreciate you even knowing who I am and showing acknowledgments and being awesome, being the true dingbat <laughs> that you are. I love you. I love you as a person. I love you as your content. I love you as everything. So thank you, Five Philly 500, for also acknowledging me and putting me, having me in your thoughts or sometimes. But even if you don't do it all the time, thank you for acknowledging me and knowing who I am. Thank you for having me in your life. And thank, I thank you for also ha you have being in my life just because we're YouTubers. You know what I mean? So... Thank you so much, uh, King Dingbat, a.k.a. Philly, Philly 500. Um, there's a lot of people I want to thank just for this, like, 10 year of 10 years for New Year's. I thank so many people, and I'm a very nice person. I'm a definite, I'm really, I'm a really nice person. But it's just, there, there's times where if I get ticked off, then I have a right to be. So, um, I definitely want to thank everybody for being in my circle um, Willie Houston, Simus, even though we, me and him don't really always get along, Simus, Loyal to Houston, Big Simple, um, Bergen Sports, Cowboy X Factor, Lord Brunson, Philly 500, Slitta, um, who else be, who, uh, Teddy Mean, um, who else be my live stream? Spunky1991, I thank you for being a great YouTuber and being very passionate and real in your videos. I love it so much. I feed off of that because I'm also passionate and real in my videos. doesn't matter if it's about drama. It doesn't matter if it's about other YouTuber. It doesn't matter if it's about the Eagles. I'm always going to stay real and passionate about my Eagles. And you are also one of the people that helps me do that because I don't want to change myself because this is YouTube. So thank you so much, Spunky1991. Um, uh, Mosh, Cowboys Mosh, thank you for being uh, a crazy lunatic of a person. Um, thank you for also being real on your videos and letting me come into your little live streams and your stream yards and stuff like that and fuck everything up. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, um, Mosh. You know, a lot of, I just want to thank a lot of people that are in my live streams that contact and, ch and talk and, and, you know, want to be in the circle, and I, and I and I love you guys for that. I love everybody. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video, even though it's only 20 minutes, about to be 20 minutes long. Um, I want to thank you guys for just being around within this within this 10 years, even if I don't know you 
from a can of paint and I still talk to you or whatever on YouTube and stuff like that. Thank you for being in my life within these 10 years of the, the of 2019, from 2010 to 2019, you know, or 20, 2009 to 2019. Um, you know, thank you guys for just being here. I love you guys. I want to keep going strong for my Philadelphia Eagles who are going to be playing in the playoffs this Sunday at 440. Go Birds. Okay? Go Birds. Matter of fact, I gotta... I got something. You know, I gotta pull out. I gotta pull out the... This is where I sleep. I literally sleep on this every night. Every night. And to be honest, you guys, I'm wearing Eagle, my Eagles scarf. I'm wearing Eagles socks. I have my Eagles pillow. I definitely will wear my, jer my winch jersey on Sunday. And I'm probably gonna also wear my eagle sweatshirt so i'm gonna be eagle down head to toe okay i'm gonna be eagle down head to toe but um thank you guys for everything i love you guys um i'm trying to think of anything else i have to say before i end this um yeah i gotta this, this is probably gonna be my new my new cowboy joe boo this is probably gonna be my new cowboy joe boo you guys this is gonna be this is probably going to be my little eagle, my my version of Cowboy Joe Boo. So you're probably, every time, I'm going to start making videos with this guy next to me. I don't know what to name it yet. You guys leaving comments down below. And we're going to start off 2020 right, especially on YouTube, for this Eagles team who we hope and pray. We pray, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. We hope, we hope, we hope, we hope, we hope. We do pray and pray and pray and pray that we do get to the Super Bowl. So, you know, we are in the tournament. Every Anything can happen. So, um... I just, you guys leave down links, leave, uh, leave names down below for this little guy, because you will be seeing him more often. I do keep this around, I just never use it in my videos. I want to, you know, I want to start off 2020 right. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna, so. <laughs> so thank you guys, I love you guys for being supportive, happy new year, enjoy your new year's. Be safe. If you're going to be drinking, don't drink and drive. I'm probably going to be drinking, and I'm not going to drink, and I can't drive. I mean, I am going to drink, but I'm not going to drive because I don't drive. And I'm probably going to my aunt's house to go drink. So, and she's only right around the corner for me, so I'm good. Um, Thank you, guys. I love you. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys have a great new year. And leave leave names down below for this guy. Leave names down below for this guy, because he will finally make his first YouTube appearance very soon. So thank you guys. I love you. Go Birds. Let's beat these Seahawks Sunday.